All right, so everybody make yourself comfortable. And, that's everybody? And, yes, that's everyone. Sit down and relax. And the place you want. Oh, we're getting in. You can just stand, no problem. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you talk louder. I'm just waiting for her to. Oh, I can just continue. Yeah. I mean, you're good. You work out a lot? Nah, not as much as I should. But <laughs> I'm hanging in. Okay, see you. Okay, um, so like I said, my name is Anthony Kitale. I'll be your, your guide. So right now we have going to have a briefing, a little bit of briefing before we go to the museum, right? Uh, basically, the museum was first opened in 1940, and it was called King George V Memorial Museum. It was opened when uh, Tanzania, or at that time Tanganyika, was still under the British government. So what was open to just just white building right there, the white building, yes. that's what the only one as a museum. This other building is a very recent project that built all the other buildings as a city. But before that, we were under the German government, before the British government. And the German used this period as a botanical garden, planting a lot of trees that were not native in Tanzania, like this tree right here. What, what's, what's the name of that tree? Oh, yes? Yes, I was trying to say that. So, uh, so this tree is a uh, ficus. Yes, it's a ficus. So there are a lot of species of ficus, but this one is not native to Tanzania. This one is native to Asia. But the seed of this one was taken from the, a Berlin garden, a royal Berlin garden in Berlin, in Germany. So that's where they took and planted a lot of trees here. So most of the trees are cut down and not, are, not like, are not around anymore. We only have two trees. This one here is over 120 years. And we have the other one, the tall one can see behind the white building. It's over 114 years. So these are the two trees that are remaining that were planted by the German government. But apart from that, uh, the National Museum itself is, uh, is dealing with mostly administrative purposes. It has seven branches, including the branch that you're visiting right now. This is the main branch. We call the National Museum and House of Culture. So this one is where you're going to see mostly the old idea, a brief concept of Tanzania, the evolution, the history of Tanzania, the cultural aspect, everything. But we also have other branches like the Village Museum, the one I think you're going to see, the Village Museum. These are the two branches that are in the restaurant right now. But most specifically, the most unique thing about the, this museum in particular is where we have the, the only remaining you know, bones of dinosaurs in Tanzania. So Tanzania, we actually find remains of dinosaurs every single year in the southern part of Tanzania, known as Tendagul. We have a lot of remains of dinosaurs that are found every single year. But we didn't find the complete ones, the complete dinosaur. It only was found once when we were under the German government and it was taken to the Berlin Museum. We're still in Germany until today. We are still working for it to be brought back, but it has not been brought back until today. So those are some of the things that uh, was taken during the colonial period. Yes, ma'am. They haven't bring it back yet. We are working on it. Uh, the government is still working on it, but yes. Uh, since in the back. Oh, shit. So the Germans said you can't have it back. I know we want all of our artifacts back in Africa, but I guess the, the European countries feel like if they give it all back, they'll have nothing in their museums. Uh, is, that, is that a concern? That they're... Dr Mostly, uh, I think it's a significant concern, but one of the things is that... Uh, Mostly young people in the European countries like Germany, in other European countries, are pushing their government to bring most of the things back. So mostly it's a youth-led youth initiative to bring a lot of things back. So they themselves really want it and we are still working on it. So we have some of the artifacts that are being brought back, but not a significant part that have not been brought back. So apart from... Oh, there's the insects? Yes. Yeah. Oh, red eggs. Sorry. It's like snake around here. Yes? Bats in this tree. You know bats? Yeah. You only see them at night though. There are a lot of them come out. Yeah. Don't worry, they won't bite you. They are good. Yeah. Yes. Good in the setting. So, but uh, tragically, because of the expansion of the museum, the remaining, we had two trees 
that I told you that were planted by the Germans, but we had a third one, which was just cut down recently. So if you can see on that side, it's just not that next to that building, the logs. So that's the last remaining tree. So now we have two, before we had three. So when they are creating this building, they we cut off the last remaining tree that were planted by the German government. This is 120, this, yes? Uh, the engineers, when they are, they, they decided that this is the best position for that. So they had to cut down this. Mm. So, but uh, this one is over 120. This is the one that was really pushed <laughs> to remain. And the other one over 114 years. So this one was relatively younger, 110. So that's what they decided to cut that one. So that one there, we are, we are creating like a, um, that's what we're going to pull, like a showroom. We are going to remove all these cars. We are going to put them here. Yeah, we are going to put uh, wells. We are going to put wells. A lot of remains of wells that we have. Right. Are those cars still around? Yes, they still do, but we are not allowed to start. So even though they're in the museum, those cars are directly under the supervision of the state house. So, like, you need to get permission from the current city president for us to start it on and everything else. So that was a little bit of a very brief introduction. Then we can go and start. Oh, there's, perfect. No, there's no any questions. No questions. Anybody have any questions? No questions. All right, perfect. So let's uh, try to keep up with the guide. Uh, he's going to be moving fast and also moving slow. Uh, but just uh, bear with us. So we're going to start outside, then we're going inside. There's the outside exhibition and inside exhibition. Okay? okay. Sorry. 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 Yeah. And so family, we're going to continue giving you some more footage uh, piece by piece across the museum in sections.